everybody and welcome back to Angie's Seams and Pockets and today I have a pretty exciting video for you all. Um, I was cleaning my sewing room trying to organize some stuff, you know, spring cleaning as so somebody would and I ran across this little kit that I purchased several, several years ago. I don't remember exactly where I got it but I kind of searched around the internet and I did find um, this same exact kit on Amazon so I am going to link that down below. I don't believe I bought it at Amazon. I think it was some sort of craft store but it's like a uh, very, it's supposed to be like a very simple, like my first cross stitch experience. Um, I personally an experienced seamstress. I'm not an experienced uh, cross stitcher, but I have done some cross stitching for fun before. So this is gonna be fun to see how like my, uh, you might say like intermediate <laughs> skills, because I do have prior knowledge of like sewing and how you know, things are supposed to look when you sew. Uh, so I think this is gonna be a really fun thing to kind of like play around with, review, see if it's even like worth it, I guess. So what we're gonna do is we're going to switch the camera angle and I'm going to start unboxing and messing with this little friend. So here you can see what the packaging looks like. Um, it's like a tiny little embroidery with a bunch of embroidery thread flosses down here. And on the back, it kind of has like a little like, oh, what is this gonna be about? And like the very simplest, like how to make an X for a cross stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. Oh, that pop was satisfying. All right, so I got my little hoop here. I'm going to, oh, it looks like I used some tape to get these flosses in here. Ah. I'm just gonna pile them up inside of here so they don't get lost. Um, and then it looks like, I'm just gonna toss that out of the, toss that out of the way. So opening this up on the inside, it looks like they gave us our cross stitch pattern with the color uh, coding here. Um, and then some inf other information we have our embroidery needle and then a little piece of uh, cloth and then it looks like this is our I'm assuming backing um, so what I'm guessing here is what we're gonna do is we are um, going to be embroidering on the fabric and then attaching it to the hoop because it doesn't look like the hoop actually has a way to attach it as you see here, I actually have an embroidery hoop for my embroidery machine and it's usually two pieces so you can like sandwich the fabric in between them. So the fact that that is not how you're going to be embroidering with this kit is a very interesting choice, but we're not, you know, it is a very cheap kit so you can't really put it against it for, I guess, not having another piece of plastic. But I don't know, that is a very strange um, choice for me. So I'm going to start with the first color here, which is the pink. Um, and it tells us we need two strands. So it recommends I cut at 18 inches. I have a ruler down here um, at the end of my mat. So I'm just gonna measure there. Um, sorry that that will be off camera. So I'm really glad that they're giving us a bunch of embroidery floss because I just cut off the 18 inches and I definitely have lots of embroidery floss left. One of the things that I wanna review about this kit is to see if they gave us enough materials so one tip that I would recommend just in general whenever threading a needle is never bring the thread to your needle, bring your needle to the thread. So what I like to do is I like to pinch with like the tiniest little tail sticking up and then just kind of like um, twist my needle until it kind of gets on there. And then there we go. All right, so I'm gonna start with the pink. So looking at my little diagram here, um, it looks like the first bit of pink starts um, one, two, three, four up. Well, basically five up um, and then one over. So I'm gonna start with those two. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then that will be my start. I have my first two little cross stitches here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a time lapse with the rest of the pink. And then I'm gonna come back and talk about um, how easy it is to follow this pattern. So I've gotten this far so far and I wanna say that this is actually really fun um, and it's super easy, at least uh, for me, somebody who's sewn before, but basically I'm just making a bunch of X's and then I'm only making like half an X on the places where it's like a half. 
Um, I'm not 100% sure if that is a correct way to do it because the instructions don't tell me that that's how what I'm supposed to do. I'm just kind of using my deductive reasoning on what I might need to do to make those appear halves. Um, if I flip to the front side, it's a little hard to see exactly what they did, but um, I am going to go ahead and keep going, finish off the rest of the pink, which is um, for her skin, and then move on to the other colors. is done at least to my standards technically if you look at the original I could keep going and add in some more of those details but I decided that this is where I'm gonna stop just to make sure that this video doesn't go too long because I've already been working on this for a couple hours um, but my take from this project um, as I start to put this little fun girl on a loom is that this is actually really friendly for beginners um you might need to do a little more like embroidery research in terms of some of the techniques because i definitely came into this with some prior sewing and embroidery like a very basic embroidery knowledge um so those would de definitely benefit you but other than that like i had so much fun and i definitely have so much more uh thread that i could do this too times maybe more and I also noticed um, as I was working that I had this little um, spool of brown embroidery thread and I think that the reason they added this is so that I can actually take some creative liberty with my mermaid which I think is super cool because if I wanted to give her like darker skin or if I wanted to like change up the color of any of her details like her shirt or her tail color I absolutely have the tools um, to do that. So like I also have this white thread here and this darker gray thread. So there's definitely like, they give you enough where you don't have to actually do the exact mermaid that they did. So I think that is super great. There we go. The Little Mermaid is complete. Um, so if I get some more of this fabric, I can absolutely make another mermaid or two and uh, give this little one a friend. Really satisfied with this project. I think it was super fun, super engaging. Definitely kept me busy for several hours. If there are any textile crafts that you would like for me to try, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.